13, rotating L-shaped extrusion. In KTSV-5, there are several ways to rotate the part. The first way to rotate a part is using a rotation tool from the Transformation Features toolbar. It will be one of the sub-options available. To use this command, you will need to select the object to be rotated and specify an axis of rotation and the degree the object is to be rotated. The following step will show this. Select the rotation tool from the Transformation Features toolbar. The Rotate Definition window will now appear on your screen. The first option in the window is the Axis Specification box. The TSE 5 will only accept the straight line to define the axis of rotation. Select the left edge of the standing leg of the L-shaped extrusion. The L-shaped extrusion will highlight, indicating that it is the entity to be rotated. Now all that is required is an angle entered in the angle box to tell the TSE 5 how many degrees to rotate the part. Now enter 45 degrees and then select the OK button. The part now has been rotated 45 degrees around the line that was selected as the axis. The rotate.1 will now appear on your specification tree. If you need to modify this angle, double click rotate.1 in the specification tree. The pop-up window will appear allowing you to modify the values previously specified. This rotation method changes the orientation of the part in relationship to the 000 axis. The part moves in relationship to the axis, not to you, the viewer. The next way to rotate a part in Katia V5 is to use the rotate tool found at the bottom of the screen. This tool does not move the part in the relationship to the axis, but moves the viewer's perspective of the part. The orientation of the geometry with reference to the axis or with any other entity is not affected. Since this does not change the geometry at all, there is no change made to the specification tree. The same rotation can be accomplished with the mouse only. Push the middle mouse button. Continue to hold the middle mouse button down and push down the left mouse button. The sequence of mouse buttons will bring up the same rotation sphere. To use this command, select the Rotate tool. The tool will highlight red, meaning it has been selected. Select any point on the screen and hold down the left mouse button. The rotation sphere will appear and show the axis of rotation. When you have rotated your point of view to where you want it, release the left mouse button and the rotation will be terminated. One other way to rotate a part is using the compass, located in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. The compass can be used to perform many different tasks besides rotation. One way the compass can be used to rotate a part is to hold the left mouse button down on the free rotation handle and move it around. You will notice that as the compass pivots, the part will do the same thing. Another way of using the compass is to rotate a part is by dragging the compass and placing it on the object you want to rotate. Drag the compass over the L-shaped extrusion by holding the left mouse button down on the move box located at the base of the compass and place it on the base leg of the L-shaped extrusion. Select or highlight the L-shaped extrusion part body in the specification tree. This will assign the compass to the part for rotate operations. The compass will turn green if it wasn't already. Once the compass is green, any rotations and or translations you make will move the part in relationship to the 000 axis. Click the right mouse button with it on the compass. Select Edit at the bottom of the window. This will bring up the compass manipulation window. The first option is Position. This refers to the position of the compass with reference to the 000 point. Remember the 000 is where the x, y, y, z, and z, x planes intersect in the center of the screen. The values that show in these windows reflect the current location of the part. Enter a zero in the X, Y, and Z windows for the coordinates, and a zero in the Rotate X, Rotate Y, and Rotate Z windows for the angles. Then select the Apply New Position button. This will move and rotate the compass in the part to the 000 location as specified. You may receive a move warning stating that some sketches are based on reference planes, sketch.1. Do you want to make them free? You will need to choose OK for the move to take place. This rotation method changes the orientation of the part in relationship to the 0,0 axis. 